players left. Fastest finger first again. Uh, nice and quiet in the audience, please. Here comes the next question. Put these words in order to form the title of a classic rock and roll song, OK? Good, Miss Golly Molly. Great panic amongst the remaining contestants. Uh, right against the clock, these, let's see, it seems very uh, straightforward. The right order, I think probably the whole country knows this. Good. Golly. Miss. Molly. That's the right order. Now, uh, eight left, how many got it right? Out of eight, most of them probably. Not all of them, though. Who was fastest? Nigel Wackett in 4.63 seconds. What up, Nigel? <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. That was really... <laughs> now, do you want to say something about uh, Christmas? Yes, please. Let's do it. This is Nigel Wackett, a teacher from Hackney in London. Up in the audience is friend Virginia, who's the head teacher at his school, so everyone had better behave themselves. Uh, <laughs> Nigel's partner, Caroline, is back home as a phone friend and in line to go and see the lemurs in Madagascar if Nigel does well in the hot seat tonight. All right, listen, let's make a start. Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, question number one is for £100. Here it comes. Someone who is old-fashioned is said to be behind the what? Guardian. Times. Independent. Telegraph. Times, Chris. Times is the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Very calm, now. Very calm. Question number two is for 200 Metaphorically, what do you go back to when you have to start something from scratch. Ironing board. Surfboard. Drawing board. Medium density fibre board. <laughs> I'm doing a bit of DIY at the moment, but uh, it's drawing board. It's the drawing board, you've got 200 quid. <laughs> Hopefully they're very straightforward, uh, this end of the scale. They do get harder, but you've got three lifelines. Have a look at number three, it's for £300. Which of these is traditionally heard before a race? Starting pistol, opening gun, initiating rifle, beginning musket. It's the starting pistol. It's the right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> OK, question number four, £500, here it comes. Which of these is an expression of relief at being free of something troublesome? Good remittance, good reliance, good riddance, good romance. Good riddance, Chris. It's right answer, £500. <laughs> One more will guarantee you £1,000. Last point, you could go home uh, with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got a 50 50 phone a friend and ask this audience there. This is question number five. In an academic or religious institution, a refectory is a room used for communal what? Exercise, singing, meals, showering. Now, you ought to know about academic institutions, what with you being a teacher. Mm. Not religious, though. But um, I'm pretty sure it's meals. Let me just check through it. But certainly not showering. <laughs> um, not exercise, it's meals, Chris. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £1,000. <laughs> <Good. laughs> Question number six is for £2,000. You're guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes, let's have a look. Complete the title of the TV sitcom starring Richard O'Sullivan. You're nodding at me. Robins... What do you think? Nest. OK, see what happens. Hive, nest, set, burrow. I think it's nest, Chris. On the plane? Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000.
Something else, isn't it? Was that with um, Tessa Wyatt? It was when I was a boy, I remember that, but a uh, long, long time ago, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. OK, now you've got £2,000. Um, you still haven't touched any lifelines. You're talking about getting up to 16. let Let's see what happens. This is for £4,000. Here it comes. In which English county is the Eden Project? A giant multi-dome greenhouse containing plants from all over the world. Lincolnshire. Norfolk. Cheshire. Cornwall. Do you know, I thought it was either Devon or Cornwall and it would have been a have to be a 50-50, but it's definitely, definitely Cornwall. Definitely. Definitely Cornwall. Final answer. <laughs> yes. Caroline would kill me. <laughs> it's the right answer. You're £4,000. <laughs> Right, you've got 4,000. Have a look at question number eight. You still haven't touched a lifeline. This is for 8,000. Here it is. In 2001, Fever was a UK number one album for which singer? Kylie Minogue, Jerry Halliwell, Gabrielle, Britney Spears. Now, what are you thinking? I'm just trying to remember. <sighs> Kylie Minogue, I. Really out of this, I'm afraid. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to ask the audience about this one. It's okay. Uh, audience on your keypads, please. Let's try and get Nigel up to eight thousand pounds. This is the question. In two thousand and one, uh, Fever was a UK number one album for which singer? A, B, C, or D? All vote now. Uh, Seventy-six percent is high. Are saying Kylie Minogue. Uh, Eighty percent Jerry Halliwell. Three percent Gabrielle. Three percent Britney Spears. It's your call. It's quite a big majority, but uh, yeah. it's up to you. Uh, hmm. uh, well, it's... it'll have to be Kylie Minogue. It'll have to be. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. It's the right answer. They got you eight thousand pounds. <laughs> Number nine is for £16,000. You've still got 50 50 <clears throat> and you've still got to phone a friend. Here it comes. Where did the famous American soldier and politician Davy Crockett die in 1836? Gettysburg, Potomac, the Alamo, Little Bighorn. Ah. Yes, I think I know this. It was a right. shaft of light, wasn't it? It was. What happened? I just thought, oh, I'm never going to get this. But um, I'm pretty sure I know that he died in the Alamo, along with some other famous character as well. Take time. Well, it wouldn't have been Gettysburg, not in 1836. Potomac. Little Big Horn was Custer. I'll play the Alamo. Final answer. Final answer. Why'd you say it couldn't be Gettysburg? That was earlier, I think. It is the Alamo. It's the right answer. You got oh. 16,000 pounds. <laughs> It all gets a bit serious at this level, doesn't it? Yeah. You're six away from one million. You're one away from 32,000. Have a look at it. Here it comes. In which year was the London Marathon first run? 1977. 1979. 1981. 1983. They're so close together, those dates. Well, you could reduce uh, the odds by half. Yeah, this is true. 50-50, please, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. OK, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Nigel the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. <laughs> well, my inkling, I have an inkling, it's 1981. Sure. Can 
My phone, Charlie, please. Charlie, OK, where's he? He's uh, another teacher in, in uh, Tower Hamlets. Oh, OK. Hello? Charlie? Hiya. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Crikey O'Reilly. Crikey O'Reilly. Um, <laughs> we're right in the middle of who wants to be a millionaire with Nigel, but he's stuck on £16,000. Right. Charlie, with your help, we can get him up to 32000 There are only two options. There are only two left. OK. OK, fingers crossed, Nigel. You've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Charlie. Hiya. In which year was the London Marathon first run? 1981 or 1983? Um. I would guess it was 1981. I wouldn't be 100% sure, so I'd, I'd, I'd say it was about 70%, but I'd say 1981. But, um, I'd like I say, I'm not 100% sure. OK. OK. All right, Get cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Thanks. Is this where you said Caroline might kill you? Well, I do have a little inkling, and Charlie has the same inkling. So, obviously, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. It's up to you. 1981. Final answer. Final answer. It was the right answer. You just won £32,000. <laughs> that was horrible. That was the most you played in the world. You've got no lifelines left, but you might as well play it. You cannot lose any money at all in this question. Here it comes. You're five away from a million. This is number 11 of a possible 15. Who became Poet Laureate in 1850? John Dryden. Geoffrey Chaucer. Alfred Lord Tennyson. Cecil Day Lewis. Yeah, but you can afford a guess on this one. Yeah. Take your time. OK. See, which ones can you eliminate? I wonder where Tennyson was. I'll try Tennyson. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Have you never heard of Cecil Day-Lewis? No. It doesn't really matter, it wasn't him. Alfred Lord Tennyson is the right answer. <laughs> 64. Who's the other one back? <laughs> You're guaranteed 32,000, but at this moment, thanks to your knowledge of literature, um, take it. Yeah, 64,000 pounds. We'll play. Uh, Chaucer was never a poet laureate. Uh, Cecil Day Lewis was actually, um, uh, but much later in 1968. And Dryden was much earlier, as you said, in 1668. It was Tennyson. Now, you've got £64,000. You are four away from one million. It's serious stuff, this. Um, you've got no lifelines left, but the next one is worth £125,000. Take a look. This is question number 12. Lithuania has a coastline on which sea you're smiling. Are you Lithuanian? Perhaps. I might be. <laughs> what do you want to see come up there? I think Baltic. OK, see what happens. Baltic Sea. Aegean Sea. Red Sea. Caspian Sea. No. No. It's definitely Baltic Sea. Definitely. Final answer. Final answer. You can't wait to get this one, Kenny. <laughs> it's the right answer. 125,000 pounds. <laughs> Right, have a look at that one. Cool, good here, isn't it? It is. Go and take that. Thank you very much. You've got 125,000. Next question is for quarter of a million. If you go for this next question, you don't have to. If you give me a right answer, it's worth a quarter of a million. If you give me a wrong answer, you drop £93,000. And you'll be sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> You're three away from a million, you have no lifelines. Here it is. Whose autobiography is entitled My Wicked, Wicked Ways? Joan Collins, Peter O'Toole, Errol Flynn, Mae West. Could have been any of them, couldn't it? They're all a bit wicked. Uh, 
It's too much, Chris. It really is. Uh, I'd love to go with Mae West, but I, I just daren't. I daren't. <laughs> I daren't. It's up to you. I think that's good enough for me. It's I really pretty do. serious, nice work. Yeah. Final answer. Can you take the money? I'll take it, please. Give him a big hand. Nigel goes home. £125,000 better off. Well played. I can tell you, actually, that if you'd done... Because you've been quite good at following your hunches right through the night, actually. If you'd gone with Mae West, you would have just lost £93,000. The right answer, actually, is Errol Flynn. Oh, really? My Wicked Wicked Ways by Errol Flynn. Give him a big hand. Nigel Wackett goes away with £125,000. Good play.